it's a true story about somebody I knew, okay? Okay. And what it was was that um, there was this guy I used to work with. Yeah. This, this is the real story, okay? Okay. What it was, it was a story about, uh, at, at my job, it was these two guys that were arguing. Okay. Okay. And uh, and uh, and the argument was was that the guy had referred to the guy as uh, you know, he had to move the one guy had to move in back with his parents. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, because of stuff. with his mom. Well, yeah. And so he said, man. And so the one dude decided to rag his mom was like, man, how you always talking about you you pimping all these girls, but you live with your mama and stuff like that. He said, man, you a pimp with a curfew. And that's what originally was called pimp with a curfew. Yeah, all right. So basically, we took the, the gist of that yeah. argument and ran it. And the first time we actually did it was, perfe was perfection. Yeah, because like it, uh, it, it, it Tiffany added the flair with the idea like him being on the front, not being able to come off the porch. And there's another girl who uh, hopefully she'll be back with us soon because I know you'll get a kick out of her, uh, Michael. Okay, and Michael kind of Michael and Victoria kind of gave it the life that that he really needed. Because uh, you had you had Zoe playing the uh, playing, playing the guy that was the pimp, okay. Um, uh, you had Michael as the voice in the background, being the mom, and you had Victoria being the little sister, <laughs> okay. And, 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 oh Lord, they they nailed it perfectly. Yeah. That I can pull from too. Right. Have you ever seen? Um, I don't know how much TV you watch, but are you familiar with the uh, the Big Bang Theory? No. You okay? What? It's a uh, it's it's a show. Basically, it's a show for nerds, but it's one of the greatest TV shows right now. And the one and they got this one character on there. Um, I can't think of his name, but he's a genius guy. He's like he's like in his twenties. He's a genius, but he lives he, he 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 lives with his mom. Okay, and you never see the mom, but you always just hear her, her loud voice. You know, and she's a loud. And she's a loud Jewish woman. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so and every time they argue or something like that, or whatever the case is, you just hear this loud voice. You know, it's it it always What station is this on? Huh? Who? It, uh, it comes on CBS, but you can catch it in syndication on a uh, TNT. Uh, it'd be on all night. Just watch okay, a couple. You, so if you got, if you got so on demand. CBS. Yeah, if you got on the band um, uh, on your uh, uh, for uh, Infinity or whatever the case is, just watch a couple episodes and see if you can okay. see something with the mom because I she she be crying. I mean, then she has me crying every time there's an episode with her. She has me crying. Yeah, because <laughs> like just like case point, cause like uh, uh, my favorite scene is like one where uh, the dude, you know, her son went out on a date and she just happened to have been uh, using the bathroom. Okay, yeah. she was I mean literally you know tearing up the bathroom. And so the son came and asked her, was like, well, 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 you know, he was asking her about the date, okay, because uh, the mom had uh, actually met the girl, right, and he wanted to know how their meeting went. So he's like, well, mom, uh, you know, for, you know, the same stage was already said that she was in the bathroom, yeah. yeah. And he's like, well, mom, how, how did it go? How did it go? And, but she thought he was talking about her bowel wow. movement. And she that has a loud really voice. Crunchy. No, she was like, I don't know yet. I'm not finished. <laughs> you know, that's how she talks. You know, no, so so she's loud. Like she's oh, really yeah. irritated. So that was the idea that we used. I'm not free. Yeah. Loud. Yeah. So just like yeah. See, basically, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So so that's pretty much the the, the premise of okay. what we got here. But it's just so changed a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I took all that time. I, I, Go ahead. Right, right. Right. Some ideas, and then I burst with ideas after I see so on. So I'm interested in feedback. Yeah. Some feedback. Alright. That was awesome, man. Wow, that was sexy. That was sexy. That was sexy. Wow. Okay, I'm sorry, but uh, yeah. What was sexy? That feedback. Man. Wow. Huh? Feedback was, I have nothing more to say, but the first one, I'm going to say very good job. Yes. Um, Y'all really killed that first one. Second one, I need to hear more projection uh, from Kiwi. need to hear more projection. Y'all got to remember to say in that, throughout that sketch, no lesbo. Because, oh. yeah, it's like, you know, uh, dog, 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 you look so good. You look, man, you look, you got some muscle. Can I feel them? No lesbo, no, no homo. But I'm just trying to feel your muscles. I just want to touch you, man. I want to touch you. No homo, though. But I, so y'all saying no lesbo. Do I have to care? I'm not really gay. Okay. Okay. It's like I'm not gay. So, yeah, okay. I'm just gay friendly. Maybe what? I'll watch parties and do the show. But no, it's, it's called no homo. Like, that's 
that's how it is. Don't you know how that the color got their set, sketch and set? So this one is no homo. So. But you, mm -hmm. you have to use the word homo? Well, some, the same so, sometimes oh, like throughout it. But it's you don't like, want. It's a catchy thing because. It's a phrase. Like, phrase, yeah, because a lot of people can do the gayest stuff in the world, but it's like you say no homo, it yeah, don't matter. It don't matter. I can like, grab this dude, but and I say no homo, I'm not gay. Right. You're gay, John. You're gay. <laughs> right. Yeah, no homo. Don't touch my butt in public. Well, that's why like, it's like the Ross Farr style. It's like it's fabulous. I'm not gay, but you know I'm gay friendly. And he would say the most gayest thing. And be able to used to listen to what's part of it. It was so gay. <laughs> yeah. It was so gay. But if he was Is that one of his catches? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we don't use those people. No, no, no. Oh, okay. I oh, would use it. Oh, okay. But just some it's of the stuff he would okay. do. Mm -hmm. It's like, I would just love, love to just do this to you. And oh, yeah. Water. That's what the sketch is. Yeah, yeah. so we can all humble every time I'm we get a punch. Okay. I'm just, you know, I'm right, right, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's it's similar to that then. Yeah, and then um, for the last one, same thing he said, and then just preparation mm -hmm. for the last one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, very good. Uh, All right, well now.